problem when you're dealing with a lot of stressful things it does bring on certain conditions you have so stress uh, actual bits and whatever yes. however you say that word I guarantee John I made you breakfast yay happy 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 Valentine's Day my friends St. Valentine is also the patron saint of epilepsy and as a I'm Stacy. I'm John. And this is Raw Ability Life. Much brighter, isn't it? It is, yes. I also told it to do a large. For some reason, it was doing a medium view of the screen, not a oh. large screw, so I, I put it back to large. Oh, we fixed the camera. And Yay! Good morning, everybody. Good Valentine's morning. Yes, good Valentine's morning. We've already um, been up. Had and, breakfast. Yep, had breakfast. We've been up and doing things this morning. I'm still in John's shirt. <laughs> oh, well. Um, I'm at, just, at the moment exporting the vlog from yesterday. It's a really short one. I apologize, but I was really not very well yesterday. No. Um, no, I, was, I was about her. So. It's a problem when you're dealing with a lot of stressful things. It does bring on certain conditions you have. So, stress. Uh, actual bits and whatever. Yes. How, how are we say that word? I guarantee I mispronounced that word, but then everyone knows what I mean. But it brings on a lot of. My epilepsy kicks in a lot and my asthma kicks in a lot. So, you know, it just makes things worse and we have to deal with them. How we do? So. Um, but yeah, it's Valentine's Day. Yes, yes. So, hope you guys are all having an awesome Valentine's Day as well. Um, I know we are already and by the time you see this video will be yeah when you see this we are watching this video we'll have already arrived in well, hopefully Ma arrived yeah hopefully <laughs> in manchester um and that's something we're going to discuss with you towards the end of the video of, of how we're gonna do this week because this will technically be our last video going up this week until we get home yes oh, that's scary yeah but it's a break we need Yes. Um, with all the stress and everything that's going on, we need to take time out for us, for me to recoup my health, for you to recoup your health, for us to just de-stress, come back and be able to keep fighting. And we'll, and we'll come back, be able to fight and make better vlogs because we'll be just yeah. able to relax and just... Because that's something we felt, we really feel like our vlogs are sort of going downhill because yeah. of the stress and the pressure of everything. So, see, like, a vlog is always about this happened, that happened, that happened, that happened. Yeah, like, uh, I mean, it's something we need to highlight. It's things we need yeah. to highlight so other people don't feel alone. But we feel like we're losing us in the mix of it yeah, all. Yeah, it, it does feel like that. Yeah. So, um, anyhow, we're going to enjoy our Valentine's Day. But before we do, I'm going to clean this camera because it's disgustingly day. And then I want to show you a few things that John went and picked up for me, plus I've picked up that I'm going to be using on Levy <laughs> um, to do the meal for me and John. Um, the surprise one I don't, I, don't, I don't know about. Yeah, you know kind of some towards yeah. it, but the hotel are helping me with a bit more, so. Yep. Um, Th that thing is a total surprise. <laughs> it's not overly a surprise, but you know, what can I do? I can do the best I can. You want to do the best you can. <laughs> it's not going to be a lovely surprise. Because yeah. you still thought about it. Thank you. Yeah. So, I'm going to clean this off and then I'm going to show you the stuff. So, be back in a sec. Okay, so here's what I have got for our meal. Um, and this is more about setting up the table in a way I want it and to make it pretty. So, first of all... I got some heart-shaped um, placemats. 
I got some tea light candles, but I got these ones um, without actual flames. These are battery operated ones because then I don't accidentally try and knock them off if I like have a muscle flinch or anything. There's not going to be any fires. Hurrah! Very good idea. Um, and then I wanted some more lights because sometimes the um, if I don't know yet if those ones flicker or if they're just set. If they flicker, sometimes that can get too much for my epilepsy. So I wanted to make sure there's some pretty lights still on the table anyway. If these aren't, don't work for me. So I have got some little heart LED lights to put around the table. Um, I like these ones because they are really small. So they aren't going to take up too much room on the table. And then I also got some confetti glitter to go on the table. And this, I've never seen these before, not for Valentine's Day, I've seen them for Christmas, obviously. I've even seen Thanksgiving ones, but I have not seen Valentine's ones, so I got some Valentine's crackers. And in these, they have, each cracker contains a dice, a table, oh, table scale, oh, so we have more table scale. <laughs> um, snap, which is obviously the thing that makes a good bang, and a motto, so that'll be interesting. I got some heart-shaped sparklers, which I thought would be really cute to give them to put onto our desserts or something like that. So yeah, I got some heart-shaped sparklers. Um, so I just wanted to make it a really special meal for us because it is supposed to be kind of like our late um, wedding anniversary holiday and it's a break but it's also my way of just sort of thanking John for everything he does for me so um I'm really glad the hotel are helping me but I wanted to be able to put some of me into it as well and this is just a bit of me and a bit of fun so yeah um so yeah looking forward to it uh so I got some things in the post today I got some more of the um, Hope um, ribbons, charms, but I also got these, these I only ordered two of these because I wanted to see what they looked like before I ordered more, because um, I like the look of these and I thought these looked quite cool, so they these are kind of like that silicone, rubbery silicone stuff. And it says never give up on it. And it's got a key thing to it as well. Um, so I thought those were pretty cool. But I wanted to see them before I ordered more to see whether I felt they were something that look, would look right within our store. Um, and I think they will. And I can't remember if these are supposed to glow in the dark. I don't. But, I do like them. They do come in other colours too. Um, but, the only way I can get these where I can sell them at a decent price, as in like, not overly expensive, is to buy them in a massive bulk. Um, so, I wasn't willing to sell, buy them in a the massive bulk until I saw what they looked like. So, that's why I ordered just two first to have a look. Um, what do you think of these, John? Um, the you can use them as keychains because they've got the key ring bit there. But you could attach them to anything you wanted, and you could use them as a way of holding things as well. Put them on like a camera. Yeah, you could put them on a camera. Ooh, now there's an idea. <laughs> I knew you liked that idea. Put it on my camera. I'm putting one on my camera. Because it's bigger so you can grab it easier. Yeah. I like that idea. Right. I know where I'm putting mine. So, yeah. Let me know in the comments. What do you reckon? Do you like them? What have I got all over me that's white? Oh, ice and sugar. Yeah. Uh, breakfast this morning. Here's a clip from that. John, I made you breakfast! Yay! 
And I spoke the house the flat out in the process. Yeah, he did help me make this, okay? I didn't quite do it all by myself. I cut the bread out and I made the egg mixture for it. It is cinnamon and nutmeg. Depending on where you live, it's either French toast, gypsy toast, or eggy bread. But breakfast, honey. Well, that's heavy. And just for your giggles, that's how many we burnt. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Me burn stuff? <laughs> that was the oil burning. You guys, Thank enjoy. You. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I'm gonna use my fingers. Yummy. Very good. I think I needed more of the um, nutmeg and stuff. Yeah. Happy Valentine's everybody. Have you noticed I've got John's t-shirt on? Um, I felt really like rubbish yesterday and when I feel really, really, really rubbish, I like... You want honey? Sure. I like to steal John's clothes. Feels like he's giving just, me a hug all the time. Just your shirt, not clothes. The, 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 yeah, just your shirt. Yeah. So, try it with the honey. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, mm. That brings out the flavour of the nutmeg and cinnamon as well. It does, yeah. Mm. Okay, we're going to go enjoy our breakfast. And I'm going to edit the vlog from yesterday. And we'll catch up with you guys in a bit. But, happy Valentine's Day, everybody! Happy Valentine's Day! Happy Valentine's Day! Happy Valentine's Day. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Happy, 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 happy Valentine's Day, my friends. So, me and John are having steak and chips tonight. And we need to pack. And I got his t-shirt on um, and my pajama buttons that I got in America. I am literally chilling out. I thought you had the same top on as me then. I'm like, ah, oh, we match. No, we don't. Um, I need to go put a review on of those two things that arrived today. That's, still, I, that's the only thing I need to do. Huh? I've caught up with all of your comments, so I'm really happy with that. I think I've caught up with nearly all of everybody's messages. I think I've got a couple more to still go. Um, in the, I'm at the moment currently talking to Charlene. Um, sometimes... As you guys all know, sometimes when you message me, it's not a simple one message answer back to you. And sometimes I need to just spend a little bit more time talking to one of you when you're going through a bit of a tough time. So that slows me down with responses and I think you all get that. Um, and some of you guys are there for me when I need you and that's amazing. That's what this whole channel is about being there for each other and it's lovely to see it that you're communicating with each other too we love it we love seeing it don't we honey yes, we do, honey. Yes, we do. so um i'm gonna go and put up a review on these things while i remember and are we gonna eat and then pack or are we gonna pack and then eat i figure pack so we get the stress enough done and then we can eat okay and so then relax for a yeah that sounds good to me so we're gonna pack um, we don't know where we can park near the nice posh restaurant, restaurant, ugh, hotel we're staying at. So we want to park in a way where it's going to be easy for us to get it out of the van. We know we don't have to take medicine fridge, which is ideal. We're really happy about that. I think we're both ready for this. We're ready for this break from everything. We need to recharge our batteries, relax. Yes. Heck <laughs> yes, he says. That's putting up politely. <laughs> putting it politely. Uh, we just need to recharge, really recharge, and um, be ready to come back and fight to for nail against everything that's going on. Um, I just realized we still have our anniversary cards up. That's so cute. Okay. <laughs> I'm weird, I know. So, 
I've also got to, go, got to go and write my husband's Valentine's card, so I'm going to go do all that. Right, catch you guys later. Bye. Bananas and pajamas are coming down the stairs. Bananas and pajamas. We don't have any stairs. Is that going to be enough milk? That should be enough milk for tonight and tomorrow morning, shouldn't it? So guys, in the comments, are you doing anything special for, or did you, I should say did you because you'll see this tomorrow, did you do anything nice for Valentine's Day? Did you get anything nice for Valentine's Day? Um, we're not doing gifts this year for Valentine's Day, normally John does buy me these beautiful flowers, but um, we're saving the money for going away because we're planning to do special things when we're away. So. Um, as you guys know, have seen, I've got some pretty things for a special treat for John when we're away. So, John went out yesterday, but he bought some steaks. He loves his steak. Now, I take it there's no difference between these, there's in like, not one's mine and one's yours. No, no, no. I ain't gonna eat a whole one of these, am I? Pass it up. One steak. Oh, steak. Some lead to do. Stacy won't. <laughs> so, oh, I got some new pajamas. Can I show them my new pajamas? Where are they? Uh, oh, that's right. I put them somewhere. I was going to say, I, I gave them to you to put away. Oh, I know where I put them. So, these are actually Valentine's pajamas from Tesco's. Um, I bought them too big so they'd be nice and baggy and comfortable. I don't know why at the moment, I mean, I just, I like wearing baggy things, so I've started stealing John's clothes. <laughs> stealing your clothes. But, pajamas, I am um, struggling with pajamas because I've outworn most of them. So these ones, they come with this colour bottoms, more purple than pink, which is good because I don't really like pink. And then John's going to show you the top. Just for you. It's me to you bears. So cute. Just for you. <laughs> so they're from the Valentine's range. Um, but yeah, nice new pajamas to go away with. And pajamas is something I'm really struggling with because I've worn mine down to nothing. I'm pretty much sure you guys are pretty much understand that when we get ill a lot we wear a lot of pajamas and we wear them down more than anything so we decided we've still got washing trying to get done to go away so it's best for us to cook first so we are cooking how are we cooking these are we cooking these under the grill or on the George Foreman or I'm going to do it under the grill that could have made the most sense okay so We always try and buy British tractor. on the chips together we make a good team and coffee so on John's I put salt pepper and Italian seasoning um, and then I put a little bit of butter just because we're trying to keep it moist and yummy you like yours medium right yeah uh, how, how do you do your steak? There's another question for you for the comments. Um, so, I've, on mine, I've added a bit of, I can never say it, but this, yeah, paprika, paprika. only a little bit. Um, John's hasn't got it on because he doesn't want it. And 
here, I didn't put a lot on. He probably will still eat mine what I don't eat. But we're going to cook these first in the oven and then finish them off for in, in the frying pan. Well, he'll finish his off, not mine, because we don't want mine to be crispy. And I added a bit of butter to keep it moist and yummy and beautiful inside. So if I had fresh herbs, I would have chopped the herbs up, put that in with the butter, and then put it on. But I don't have fresh herbs. And I'm not buying fresh herbs just for two steaks. Back in to go away, what we are planning to do, I'm running out of battery. Um, what we're planning to do is once the tumble dryer is finished we will start quitting clothes together we want to get it so that we've got two suitcases that have got like four wheels so they're easy to push we're hoping to get everything into those two suitcases and if need be we have got a rucksack that fits on the back of my chair as well i don't see us needing to take more than that we're not going abroad so it's not like we have to take a load of stuff that we would need abroad i'm just oh. trying to think what we need to take just clothes swimwear Close, one more medication. Medication. Large towels for my chair. Yeah, even though we're, we're probably going to get tons of towels for the hotel anyway. Yeah, but I'd still rather have at least like one or two towels that fit my chair. Fair enough. Um, and yeah, medications. And then we've obviously got like my nebulizer, John's machine. Um, so one suitcase in it, on its own will be medication and medical stuff. We're not like travellers, not at all. I'm going to take a bit of time out on my bed while John preps all this up so that I can help him pack later. We're not overly, overly going to be doing overly all that much tonight because we both need an early night because we've got a long day travelling tomorrow. Um, But I think our holiday pretty much starts now, doesn't it? Other than the packing. Yeah. I'm not somebody who would normally talk about religion on this channel and there is reason behind that and I did say at one point I would explain and I at some point going to do an info video explaining a little bit more um, regarding it but the basics of it, the reason why I won't go into religion on this channel is because I don't want the comments of well if God is so wonderful why hasn't he cured you? I don't want that kind of stuff. Also, I have at one point been involved with a church who basically tried to tell me that I had the devil in me because I was so ill. So their belief was that you should go to healings and they would be able to heal you and you basically were letting the devil in if you were sick, um, which is not the way I was brought up as a Christian. However, I want to bring religion up right now because of something that I think is really, really cool to share. So I'm not going to go in depth totally with this, but I think it is something that is just kind of nice to share. And if you want to read more about this, I am going to put the link in the description so you can go and read up more about it. But basically, today is Valentine's Day. And Valentine's Day, we kind of celebrate love and we celebrate, um, you know, the person we we, we, we married or, or the person we want to marry or the person we're just involved with. And some people in some other countries take it even further. They celebrate the people they love in general. It could be friends, it could be family in general, all that sort of stuff. Um, so Valentine's Day is about also celebrating St. Valentine's. That's where some, you know, the connection is there. So Valentine's is a saint through Christianity. Um, now, he was St. Valentine's, if you look into the history of St. Valentine's, you'll find like two or three different people and it's unknown whether they're fully separate people or whether they were the same person. Um, and I'm not going to go into all of that either, it's explained in the link. My thing I wanted to kind of go into with you is St. Valentine is also the patron saint of epilepsy. And as epilepsy is one of the main conditions that I suffer from, I thought it was really nice to share this. So. There's kind of a double-edged meaning to today why it's special because it is Valentine's. It is about us reminding each other 
why we care about each other. Oh, battery died. Um, so yeah, it's about it's about that love connection, but um, and and and, but it's also about St. Valentine's, who is the saint of epilepsy. Um, and you can go and look at the link and read more about it and how it connect how St. Valentine's connects to epilepsy. Um, and, but you also can read about other things within it. For example, within the actual Bible, there is quite a few sections um, where they talk about people with epilepsy. And you got to remember back then, they didn't know what epilepsy was. So they would presume that um, the devil had taken over somebody and you had to fight against the devil, but you became some sort of hero because you fought against the devil, you know, um, if you managed to come out of a seizure. So it's kind of, uh, kind of a warped way of saying, yeah, we were heroes because we had seizures. Um, and we fought the devil to get out of the seizure. Weird, I know. Um, but you can, I mean, one of the, a couple of the, 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 the I'm not going to read them because they're all on this information page, but it, it talks about how, um, God and his disciples were able to heal these people of their epilepsy. Um, and this is back when there was no medication to treat and help epilepsy. And so people would um, pray to saints and, and, and things like that for help. Um, and for some people that was the cure that solved all, but for some people it wasn't. And then that would mean they would see it as they were taken over by the devil, basically, which is kind of not a nice thing. Um, but St. Paul, who was also known as Sol, Sol S-A-U-L, before he converted to Christianity, um, he actually did suffer from epilepsy, and he... Okay, we have a ghost in here, it's turning the camera on, it's opening the washing machine. Dad, stop playing games. <laughs> um, yeah, so St. Paul, also suffer from epilepsy again they didn't know what it was called back then so they just talk about seizures and and things like um temporary blindness that lasted for a few days which is a com you know could be a side effect of having uh seizures um so there is such connections to the bible and epilepsy and very big connections to saint valentine's because saint valentine's um when he wasn't a saint when he was alive because he was um executed for um, continuing his religion as a Christian back in the times when Christianity was trying to be brushed out. So he was executed for following his religion. Um, but before he was executed, he actually cured uh, many people um, of certain illnesses. And now a lot of people, before we found medications to treat epilepsy and things like that, many people were prayed to him and and other saints, but a lot to him, to help re remove the epilepsy from people. So I, I just felt it was interesting to share that. So happy St. Valentine's Day and happy, it, it, yeah, it, it, thank you St. Valentine's for being our saint. <laughs> It's interesting, isn't it? It is, yeah. Um, it's, go and have a look at the link. It, it, our, our dinner's ready, so I'm moving out of John's way. Go and have a look at the link. It is very, very interesting, and it's got quotes from the Bible where it interacts, and it, it's just really clever. But it, it's very funny because, that I mean, you remember that time when I was told yes, I, I had the devil in me and that. I, I mean, I was really poorly. I had feeding tubes and all galore at that point because I was so poorly. And I was told I was letting the devil in me, you know. But I know that that part of that comes with epilepsy, and I remember it from a child with people when I was a child as well. But actually, the Bible doesn't say that. You want me out of the way? No, wait. I'm, I'm waiting for you to be done with it. I, 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 I finished explaining. That's what I was trying to figure out. Yeah, sorry. Look at that yummy steak.
What? You cooked it too long? Yeah, I Sorry, honey. It oh. looks good, though. Let's have a look inside. It's going to be quite tough, isn't it? So is it too cooked for you? It's cooked enough for me. That would be good for me. Th th that's your steak. Cause mine's over here. Look at this yummy steak. I think that's your steak anyway. Um, let me look at the packaging. I can't tell without looking at the packaging. Yes. See, we got them wrong way round. This one's mine. This one's John. Good job you didn't blend that, wouldn't it? You'd have to have a blended steak. <laughs> oh, that could have been amusing. You nearly ended up with a blended steak. <laughs> That's funny. Yours is more tender. <coughs> That's because I put nice stuff on it and you wouldn't let me do it all to yours. Oh, because steaks don't need extra flavour. Oh, yeah, but look how much tender mine is. <laughs> look, who's coming for tea, guys? I'm steaming them all up, honey. <laughs> and then, where's the chips? And chips suck. Happy Valentine's Day! And happy Saint of Epilepsy Day! That sounds weird, doesn't it? I know what I mean! Um, so yeah, do guys, do go check out that link. It's kind of an interesting read and it's kind of nice, but it also talks about like lots of other different saints that um, deal with different things too. So, are we going to go eat our dinners? And then we will catch up with you a bit later. Well, we are packed. I still feel like the screen is dirty. It is. It's still dirty, look. Yeah, and that's yeah. on the... That's the lens. Stupid lens. It will keep wiping it until I get it clean. Um, so we're all packed up other than what we need to do in the morning. Um, not much we can do until the morning now, is it? It's all the electronics, so... Yep. Cameras, laptop. Well, I need to edit this and get it up tonight. Um, and it's already... Five to uh, I'm gonna. I need to work a couple errands in the morning before we go. Before we actually leave, go yep. to the post office. Go get something that we're gonna get in trouble with with Kim. <laughs> yeah, but the kids will love it. Yeah, and I've also just. I turned it up again. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I printed out some toy money and bank cards and things like that. Play bank cards and to play money for the kids um for just a little gift for them something i made and um i'm gonna cut them up when i'm at the hotel tomorrow but we are packed now what's gonna happen over the next week we are away for seven nights yes we come back next friday which will be 20 Sorry. 22nd um so you're not gonna get another vlog go up as in daily vlog until probably 23rd 24th um give her 24th 25th because she's probably gonna be shattered when she gets back yes <laughs> so what is gonna happen while we're away this time it's not gonna be like our normal when we go away where we normally would uh vlog every moment of our trip um and then come home and edit it day by day by day and put it up day by, like pom 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 but you got all the days um going up what we're going to do is record little moments of our trip this is about this trip is about us taking a break even from vlogging it's um we're tired, we're exhausted with everything that's going on. It's nothing to do with you guys, it's to do with everything that's going on with the system and social services, the equipment. We need to build ourselves up emotionally, physically, mentally, everything again, so that we can come back fighting, ready to go at everybody in the system. Not at you guys. <laughs> um, no, so, not you at all. So we need to 
some of the time time as just husband and wife, chilling out, go swimming, go for walks, yep. have a nice meal, and just generally chill out. Yes, yes, yes. Um, because we don't, we don't feel like we're bringing the best of us to you guys at the moment in our vlogs. We don't feel, no, no. No, we kind of feel like we're really like, uh, miserable at the moment. That we're going down the hill at the moment. Mm. And so we feel like this break will help us build ourselves up and it's something we've needed for a while, but obviously, for one reason Different or another. Different things got in the way. Yeah. So we, you will get footage when we get back. It's just not going to be the usual day by day. So you're not going to get seven days worth of footage. You're going to get little snippets of footage. And I don't know what we're going to record. We'll record as we go along yep, what we feel is right. Like it, yeah. So, because the main main part, goal is to recuperate, recuperate, get better, get stronger. Yes. And yeah. So become us again. Yeah, become us again. So I, I would say we're probably gonna do a live when we get home anyway at some point. Probably, so yeah, at some point. But keep an eye on Facebook. Make sure you're connected with our Instagram as well. We'll probably be putting pictures up on Instagram as we go along or Twitter. So make sure you're connected to all our social medias. It's all the same, Raw Ability Life on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook. Connect to all of them. You will find us around. We'll be putting things up, showing you what we're up to anyway as we go along. And we will see you when we get home. But in the meantime, please, please, guys, use the comments on the videos. Use Facebook to talk to each other and look out for each other, you know. Use one of the posts there and send me, you know, talk to each other and make sure everybody's okay. Look out for each other. Or you can always comment in the live chat because that, that still works. <laughs> it was not streaming. I Does believe. it? I think so, yeah. That's good to know. So if you go to the last live chat, live video, I believe you could still chat to no, each other. Not, not, oh. you know, I have to go to like you're going to where a lot what 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 there are lives, but we're not there. I think the chat works. But don't we have to set one of those up for them? No. I don't understand how it works then. You know, there we go. youtubecom slash live slash live. Oh, okay. And it brings you to that page. Okay. I think chat works even when there's no streaming. But if you are struggling and you need help, go to like Facebook, start your own post on our, on our page. They can do that, can't they? Yes, they can. Um, and ask for the help. People, we're, we're all there for each other. And that's the whole point of this community that we're trying to build is being there for each other. We all understand what we're all going through. So don't struggle alone. Let others help you. Um, because by doing so, you're allowing somebody else to help themselves to um i know it sounds silly but sometimes when we're able to help somebody else it feels like we can escape from our own problems sometimes for a little bit does that make yeah, sense that's so that's it. It, you know don't feel afraid to ask for help so for now we're going on holiday and we will see you in about a week if not eight nine about eight days i think probably How about that? um but Keep it on social media. We will we'll keep you updated, and um, we will see you soon. Thank, Thank you for joining us in our crazy, crazy world. world. Love you. Bye. Bye.